Hello everyone, today is Thursday, October 18th. It's 3 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's about an hour before the regular session close. On my right is my PC clock. You can see today's date and time. And on my left is the time and sales, the E-mini S&P. A uh, pretty big volatile day again to the downside, 27.70.50 approximately. Uh, another really great day for the auto trader. The auto trader has been performing extremely well in this volatility. The first chart I'm showing is the E-mini S&P, and I did adjust the targets on this. We were kind of getting stopped out prematurely, and so I adjusted them slightly. And this is an open position on this trade here. We, we drew down about $500 per contract on a couple of losers right here, but then we had this really large uh, short trade that was good for about 30 points. This went short right at the 2800 level and covered at uh, 2770, 30 points in the ES. That's 120 ticks on this contract here. So, you know, I don't know about you, but it's pretty difficult to hold a trade for 120 ticks, but the auto trader will do that. And now, now we're currently short from 2775, and the market looks like it tested this entry here and we'll see if it comes back down or not. In any case, as I speak, there's about 1600 open PL here. The daily goal on this one is 3500, so I don't know if that'll be hit, but we'll see. Okay, next up is the DAX on a three minute chart, and this has been performing consistently since I started showing it. It's not really a surprise, but nevertheless, it's moderately active on this time frame. First came up and made an equity high of about 2,000 on this uh, single position here. And a number of trades here, the losers don't appear too big. Then we made an e another equity high of 3,300. Our goal on this, I believe, is 3,500. No, it's 5,500. So made an equity high of 3,500 and uh, another loser or so, and then another small winner here closing at 35.75. Okay, the DAX on a 34 tick line break chart had three winners in a row here. And if I scrunch up the chart, looks like we drew down about 400 per contract, and then it was mostly up for the rest of the time. A really nice looking swings on a line break chart. And our goal on this one is 2,500. So uh, we hit our goal and had some positive slippage here. Okay, the DAX on a 233 high Kanashi chart did 2487 on two trades. You can see them here. And our goal on this is 2550. So uh, we obviously hit our goal and we had some slippage. Okay, the E mini SP on a Superenco six trick trading three contracts uh, has a goal of 2400 it's a limit order minus two ticks we started off with a loser and drew down about 200 per contract and then you can see our split fill here and followed by four winners in a row uh, catching these swings with really excellent trade placement getting out almost at the bottom tick here uh, the low of the day at the time and then having profitable trades on these three trades in a row is quite remarkable. So this finished at 2387, only one tick of slippage shy of its goal. Okay, our ever reliable DAX on Superenco 14 tick. This is the one with the higher goal of, I think I have it at 5,500. Uh, this made an equity high here of 3,500. So quite volatile today, uh, went from an equity high of 3,500 to minus 1,500 and minus 2,000 to start off. So we drew down several times and made equity highs uh, at least once here and then came back to finish at 1737.50. So through all of this, pretty remarkable to, to end up nicely positive on the day. Okay, the E-mini S&P on a 987 tick line break chart. The goal on this is 1300, and this did 1287.50, so one tick of slippage. On these line break charts, you can see the movement here. This would have been a line break, but our precision trend indicator is 
keeping this from turning a red bar and so the unique aspect of the BWT algorithm in line break is that it can smooth out the line break uh, chart here. So uh, pretty nice performance. This has been pretty consistent, uh, this uh, three line break chart on 987 tick E-mini S&P. Okay, another chart that we've seen quite a bit, the E-mini S&P on a 1597 Heiken Ashi chart. Just want to point out the indicator signals here. This did 1275 on a couple of trades here. It looks like we just had one very small loser here. So there was three total trades. And I'm guessing the goal on this is 1300. So a couple of ticks of slippage, but really nice action here. This is trading three contracts. Okay, the DAX on a Superenco six tick finished at 1062.50. Only drew down about 300 per contract a couple of times, but then uh, kind of clawed its way back to uh, finishing uh, profitable for the day. Okay, the E-mini S&P on a Superinco 4 tick with the 6 tick higher time frame. Looks like it drew down about 300 per contract and then came back with quite a few winning trades here to finish at a thousand. Our goal on this is 1050 so uh, we definitely hit our goal here and recovered from uh, drawing down earlier in the day okay a fair amount of volatility on the DAX on a Super Echo 8 tick with a higher time frame filter of a Super Echo 6 tick and this drew down about 300 per contract and ultimately finished at 7.3750 the goal on this is a 7.50 and I have a higher loss limit, but that actually worked in our favor today. That's all for today's video. Thanks for watching today.